now that we're done with our discussion about uh, elasticity of uh, demand and supply we are well set to talk about role of government in the market government plays an important role because when you look at governments governments are trying to make sure whenever the market fails the government tries to intervene and improve the market outcomes before we talk about government we want to talk about what is the role of prices and also why do we need government intervention so let's start with our discussion of role of prices in a market so in a market we know that there are buyers and sellers buyers are demanding goods and sellers are supplying goods and this exchange will result in a market price now we say price has three important functions first function is that of rationing what is rationing well rationing is a function where price in a market is trying to allocate and ration resources in other word distribute resources in a market so let's say many consumers are demanding a good if the demand is high right at the same time i tell you guys the supply is low so if the demand is high and supply is low we know this that the price will be very high why because too many people wanting to buy a good that is not too much in supply and as a result of that we will know the price because it's too high only some people will be able to get the good so only those people who are prepared to pay a higher price will get the good so limited supply will be rationed to those buyers who are prepared to pay a high enough price on the other hand if prices are low then we can say this that there is definitely more um sort of resources available or in other words there is a lack of scarcity for the good so a low price would mean a lot of people can get that uh, get that good uh, and that basically means there is a lack of scarcity so prices now are playing an important role for us because when they are high uh, this means relative scarcity is high and therefore very few people get the good on the other hand when prices are low there is what we call a uh, lack of strict scarcity and a lot of people can afford and buy that good so this is how um in a market goods are rationed or distributed through the price mechanism another important role that prices play is that of signaling what is signaling what well, signaling is where the price of a good is a key piece of information to both buyers and sellers and therefore we believe that it is uh, reflecting market conditions and therefore acting as a signal to those in the market in other words it provides information for those in the market in terms of buying and selling therefore decisions about buying and selling are basically based on these signals so let's do an example let's say there is an increase in the price of a good right if the price of a good goes up what does that signal to the producer well that will signal to the producer that price is going up that basically implies that the demand for the good is going up and if a producer wants to increase his profits and uh, wants to react to this signal he will increase his quantity supplied so the quantity supplied will go up because there is more profitability as reflected by a rise in price of that good hence firms are reacting to this uh, information and they are doing so in order to make more profits the last function that prices play is that of an incentive prices are acting as an incentive for both buyers and sellers uh, and and for buyers when we say this the price is acting as an incentive is because when the price goes down he knows this that he can now buy more of this good and that would basically means for any given level of satisfaction he is getting more value so in other words when the price goes down he will buy more of the good primarily because he can get more uh, per dollar spent now as compared to before on the other hand when the price goes down from the producer perspective or from the supply side we believe that the producer will find that the lower price will discourage him to produce and also even drive him out of business if he finds that there is unprofitability for a producer therefore a lower price can discourage discourage production and also results in firms to be driven sometimes out of business so it all depends on whose perspective we're looking at 
and both buyers and sellers are reacting to it because from a buyer perspective of course there is more incentive to buy if the price of a good is going down let's say cost of production goes down and therefore you know price goes down for the good we can say we will buy more of the good and similarly from a producer perspective so let me also write this here from the consumer perspective this could be what you can look at the reaction to price and from a producer perspective this is how he will react but at the same time let's say when the demand is going up and the price goes up the producer will have an incentive to produce more but from a consumer perspective let's say if the cost goes up and that's why your price is going he may react to it by buying less so depending on what factors we're looking at the price then plays a role for both buyers and seller um, to react to it and therefore get the maximum possible return as an incentive uh, whenever the price changes. To conclude therefore, price is playing a role where price is providing signals to producers and consumers. It is an incentive for consumers and producers to react to it. And lastly, it is a way to distribute or ration goods and services. Despite that, we will find that government intervention is needed. So let's talk about why do we need government intervention or why is government required when price is doing such a good role. And we say this, that the price may not lead to sometimes efficient allocation of resources. We identified three reasons why lack of efficiency happened when it comes to prices. Well, first thing is when we are allocating through market, uh, we say sometimes that happens that there is a large fluctuation in prices. The large fluctuation in prices become a problem because from the short run perspective, if the price is fluctuating too much, then this would mean to a producer this gives a wrong signal or a confusing picture. And this confusing picture may lead the producer to either overproduce in the short run or underproduce in the short run. You know, like if the price is high, I may get excited, I may overproduce, or if the price is low, I may underproduce. And therefore, uh, in the short run, we could lead to problems of over or under production, and therefore inefficient allocation of resources. But in the long run, this also has an implication because in the long run, we are actually investing. So in the long run, it could lead to over or under investment for example if the price is high for my good and i'm like really excited and i let's say invest to increase my capacity and it turns out that it was only a sh uh, small period on which this price phenomenon was noticed so therefore i may over invest in the long run similarly if the price was low i may not over um, i may not invest enough and then in the long run when my demand goes up i may not be able to meet that so that also can happen if the fl price is fluctuating too much. So the first problem that we can see from the price is there, there is a, a large fluctuation in prices which can lead to um, wrong allocation of resources. Another problem that happens is when the price is too high. Too high a price becomes a problem because if the price is too high, this means that your necessities, that is your food items like bread, rice or education will not be affordable for the poor households and therefore will not be bought in sufficient amounts at the same time goods like you know merit goods like education like for example vaccines like for example health supplies and all that if they are expensive and they're too high a price then this will lead to what we call um, inequality in society and hence has a long-term impact in terms of society's well-being. So what we argue is this, that sometimes too high a price for these goods may not be good for an economy and therefore government may need to intervene in order to make sure they control the prices. Lastly, we talk about something called too low a price. Why are too low a price a problem? Well, the free market gives us some goods like, for example, demerit goods which are cigarettes and alcohol and all of these goods, which are also called economic bads. Now, what's the problem with these demerit goods? Well, we'll talk about this in a later discussion in detail, but demerit goods actually cause what we say negative externalities, which means they not only harm you, but they also harm the people who are, you know, 
uh, in the society who are with you. For example, when you smoke a cigarette, there is passive smoking that could be a problem. Also, when you smoke a cigarette, you will actually uh, become unhealthy in the long run. And that would mean more expenditure on you in terms of econom economy's resources, uh, in terms of health expenditure. So all of this would mean you are not only hurting yourself, but also the society. And that's why there's a negative external effect on people. Similar to this idea, when price is too low for some goods, like for example, if the agricultural goods are too low in price, that could also be a problem because these goods are what we call uh, important for the economy. And if the price is too low, then this may discourage producers or farmers and may result in them to leave industry. Right. And if they leave industry, you might see the quantity of this good to get affected. A lot of times economy in an economy, government will be supporting sectors like agriculture uh, in order to make sure that the production remains strong and in order to make sure they incentivize the farmers to stay in business. So these are the three reasons why we want government to intervene. When the price is too low, when the price is too high, and lastly, when the price is fluctuating too much. In the next discussion, we'll talk about how do government intervene whenever these problems arise.